Queridos alunos, a fim de mantermos o decreto e continuarmos o seu desenvolvimento na língua, a gente vai disponibilizar para vocês em formato digital as videoaulas com o intuito de continuar a nossa missão e de principalmente intensificar o seu projeto, o seu desejo, sua vontade de aprender o idioma inglês. Então, vamos lá! Hello guys, how are you doing today? So, this class we are going to talk about the topic of Friday, March 27th, and we are going to talk about screenplays, okay? In the text, we are going to talk about Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino. The text is about Tarantino's life, it talks about his passion for making movies, okay? So, let's take a look at the verbs that we have in the text. So, we have to be, to make, to choose, to take, to love, to write, to kill, to bring, to lead, and to explain. Yeah. Explain. Okay? So, the home practice on pages 808, 808 and 810. You have to watch the video. With the video, you are going to report six sentences. Okay? So, we have here six examples. That, we, that is from the text, and we're going to take a look at them, okay? So, the first one, Quentin, Quentin said that these were the ultimate girl power movies. Quentin affirmed that was one of the things he had wanted to do. Number three, Quentin said he didn't give a damn about that. Four, Quentin mentioned that his feelings was he actually wanted 13-year-old girls to see this movie. 5. Quentin said that he thought this movie would be very empowering for them. And 6. He affirmed that the movies had to work. Okay? Then, for senior and master, they have to summarize the video. So we have a short summarize here. And I'd like you, in, in, uh, with your teacher, to summarize again, to identify new words, summarize, create new examples according to the video, okay? So here we have, the video talks about the release of one of Tarantino's movies, Kill Bill, to be specific, and also covers some of the controversial opinion expressed by the director, okay? So guys, let's go to the review. This review, we're going to talk about reported, reported speech, okay? And I will divide the reported speech into four parts, okay? So let's take a look at them. The first one is the one in purple, okay? That we have in here most of the times twenty. Who is Quentin in this situation? He is the speaker, okay? So, it's the person that's saying the things, okay? The second element we have in here, said, affirmed, mentioned, okay? So, that's going to be the number two. And we're going to say the reporting verb. Okay? The reporting verb is going to be the verb that's going to give the, the opinion, the intention, the motivation the speakers had. Okay? So we have affirmed, we have mentioned, we also have the difference between said and told. Okay? This is important. When you say, you say something. Okay? So you're not going to say to whom you are talking to. When you say told, you're going to say someone, something. Okay? I'm going to show you an example using told. So I'm going to take a look, we're going to take a look at about it later. Number three, we have the reported sentence okay the information that we have in blue 
And then, inside the information in blue, we have the number four, that is the reported verb. Okay? Then, in the reported verb, we are going to contrast the information. Okay? So, if you observe there, we have the direct and the ported. Okay? So, I'm going to group them in a different way to make you make it clear. So, we have simple present. Simple present. In the reported, we'll come to the simple past. Okay? Then we have present continuous. And it goes to past continuous. Okay? Here we also have present perfect. Okay? Present perfect is going to go to past perfect. Okay? There are two other structures that will go to the past perfect. So we have simple past and past perfect. Okay? So they both go to past perfect. Right? Then we have the present perfect perfect continuous okay present perfect continuous past continuous and past perfect continuous with all of them will go to past Perfect continuous. Okay? So we have here some of the examples. I'm going to put here will, can. So will will go to would, can to could. Okay? So now let's take a look in the example. I'm going to write an example here. The example will come from Frozen 2, and we have the words of Olaf. So Olaf says, and we have maturity is making me poetic. Okay? So we are going to report this sentence. So the first one, the speaker. The speaker here, Olaf. Okay? As I said, I'm going to use told. Okay? You can use any of them, but we are going to use told to contrast with say. Okay? So when I use told, I have to mention who. So, told Anna. Maturity. Here we have is making. Is making is present continuous. So present continuous, we move to past continuous. Maturity was making him poetic. Okay? So guys, if you have any problems, don't forget to ask to your teachers, okay? They are going to be available to help you. And don't forget to do the class practice to improve your knowledge, okay? See you next time. Bye-bye.